Alright, welcome back guys. I got something exciting to show you. Go back from B and Q. <laughs> <laughs> Got the lights working <laughs> finally. <laughs> we also got the um front bit. It's over here at the minute. So yeah, I ran the cable finally. It came a couple of days ago. So yeah, as I explained it before, we just ran it down there and across. And I got like three different coloured cables, and I just wrapped in this conduit. That's all good to go. Used crimp connections. And then this one's gonna sit under that little step that we'll have here. And then that one will sit in the bench. Yeah. What's the plan, Spider-Man? Well, quick <laughs> rewind. <laughs> Yesterday, <laughs> Saturday, we didn't record anything because we were just doing quite repetitive things from the previous weeks. Well, yeah, the, you guys pretty much seen it all. I think the, the biggest thing that we done was Laz hooking up the, what, the lights. And then we put in our vertical buttons across the top. So we were a bit hesitant to start with whether we needed them, but we decided that we do to support the ply because it's quite thin ply we're putting up here. It's going to be six mil. It kind of needs that support. So we've just been finishing off every bit with the installation. So we just had to do another stop to B and Q to get another another roll, so we can just finish this side. And then it's all done. And yeah, we've been putting the, the wall stuff everywhere. So it's quite funny actually, because we started putting the Celotex up here, as we mentioned, for these little gaps. But it's super painful to work with. And we had loads of the plastic insulation left. So we're just doing this. We're just doing the plastic insulation. And it's quick and it's easy. Yeah, so much And bigger. I think it will be fine. So yeah, we've just got to pop that in and then we're done with the insulation. And then we're on to the vapour barrier. Also, sad times because my, uh, my roof rack stuff hasn't come. I ordered it all, but it hasn't arrived yet. So I'm pretty sad because I wanted to do this this weekend, but it's going to have to be next weekend. So yeah, we're just going to crack on with the vapour barrier stuff and finish... The installation is almost finished. <laughs> it's been stacking forever. Yeah, but, so we've been doing it for like a month. Yeah, but I think once this bit is done, the rest is gonna be a lot quicker and more fun. I wanna do more wood work. I wanna wear my tool belt. <laughs> Go on, let's see it. I can't believe we got one of these. She got these without consulting me. She just turned up with them. This is Cassie's woodworking tool belt. Where do you get it from? Amazon. Amazon's. It's like seven quid. I'm fed up of having to keep going to and from the shed, so for my pencils, my scissors and whatnot. Look at Bob the Builder, mate. Bob the Builder. So, quick update. Um, we've just started doing the foil barrier for um, the sides of the walls so we can start hopefully doing some of the ply today. Um, we did buy some from Wix this morning. Oh no, it's moved it's indoors because it started raining. Um, so, quick problemo. So we started to do this with the aluminium tape. It's just not quite strong enough to like make it really taut. As you can see here, we kind of need it to go down here. So what we'd seen on a couple of other videos was actually people using um, staple guns. We sadly don't have one, so Laz has just quickly popped a wick. So they're like 15, 20 quid with staples, so not overly expensive. And I just think it will make it pull taut across here, so it's a lot easier to then join them together. Then you've not got the issue of it sort of bobbling, and then you've got a good sturdy gap between um, the insulation and the foil to create that barrier so yeah that's where we're up we've then been cutting the holes for this side i think we're going to focus on this side first today just because we're going to do one of the um electric hookup points that come out the back on this side so it's going to come out out of the bumper a little bit is that the bumper i don't know wherever the, what wherever you'd call this um, but like I said, when he was watching a, like a tutorial on it on YouTube, someone else doing it, you have to pop this off and this, and we've obviously um, 
sealed some of these from the inside so he's gonna watch it again just to make sure we're just gonna hold off doing anything this side yet and obviously it's a bit more complicated anyway because we've got more wires or not complicated just a bit more fiddly so we're gonna do this so at least we've got an idea of the best way of doing it and we've got way less wires so yeah that's everything just waiting for Lazlo to get back from Wix we just got the staple gun look Wow. Kaz, don't aim it at Babe, me. you saw how much force I had to pull that with to do it. I'm scared. Why are you scared? Because I know what you're like. I'm predictable. <laughs> oh, that's super loud. Is it working? Yeah. 15 pounds from Wix. And it even comes with 250 staples, so I don't have to buy any. But you can get about a thousand staples for a fiver, so it's pretty cool. We've seen people use the uh, ones with the air compressor. Is that right, Cass? Yeah, but that's only because they had the had the, it. They already had it. Yeah. But for so, fifteen quid. Fifteen quid is pretty good. All right. Well, here we are. We're gonna <laughs> carry on uh, stapling with our brand new staple gun. Let's see how far we get. Should be pretty quick with this now. One side looking like a spaceship because it's so bright it makes it look so much bigger which is great let me just show you from this side we've done all of this side we haven't finished around the windows yet um, but the majority of it do is done we've fed through all of the wires so instead of doing the ply today I think we're gonna do the, the vapor along here and up here and just leave this bit for now and then we're waiting to do the ceiling until we get the spotlight or we know exactly which ones we're going to get because we might have to like um, chisel out a circle for them so they sit up against or like in the insulation so we're just going to focus on getting this bit done as soon as it's sunny and nice outside because it is meant to rain tomorrow the van is looking like a big hot mess but we're making progress it is kind of sad covering up all of the work that you've done but at the same time it is nice not to see the fluffy insulation which has been making my nose slash hay fever go absolutely mad the past two days but yeah so it is actually quite nice to cover it up um although you're covering up all of your hard work from the past four weeks but at least then once this is up there's no going back and then onto the ply uh so yeah we're gonna crack on with this side now and i think we shall probably see you tomorrow and that's it for this week guys sadly we didn't see you tomorrow as we very much got rained off um join us next week where we finally get to start the ply on the walls and Laz gets his long-awaited delivery so he can start getting the racks ready for the solar panels thanks so much for watching and see you next week Ha <laughs> <laughs>